all right everybody today we are back with another portable air conditioning unit and then this one is going to be connecting this to your wi-fi and to your smartphone that way you can control it remotely so if you want to pre-cool your space you can do that without actually having to be here and you also can set it up like on a schedule because let's say you come home at five o'clock you can have it turn on at four the way to be pre-cooled before you get home or in your garage or your shop or whatever the case may be so this particular video is going to be for the Toshiba. You can tell it has Wi-Fi because it has a little Wi-Fi bars there. And this video will cover these particular models. All right, so to get right into it, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have, you know, Android phone, Android tablet, iPad, whatever the case may be. Of course, make sure you have Wi-Fi. And then these will be the QR codes uh just in case you don't have your manual anymore or if you bought your unit uh second hand so you have the android qr code which you may be able to scan from your tv so you got the android qr code and then you have the apple qr code there and for apple app is called toshiba acna open the app you want to uh, create an account, do your email, verify, all that other good stuff. And once you do all of that, when you create your account, it will look like this. And then it has whatever devices. And right now, I do not have my Toshiba uh, portable AC connected. So let's get to that. Once you have everything uploaded, uh, you have your account connected, created, verified, and all that stuff. Let's just see what the directions say. So let's go to add device. I don't know if you can read this, but I will do a screenshot and I will put it on the screen for you. But basically, make sure you have your wireless network and name uh, and do not connect your device to a public network. And basically make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. All right, so it is saying that the Toshiba ACNA, which is the app, would like to use my Bluetooth. So of course, hit allow. And then it's scanning for nearby devices. Uh, and it seems like even though it is off, that it found my device. Uh, let me turn my unit on, because I don't know if this is actually this device. Maybe somebody else's. That fan from the AC unit, I am sorry, but we're gonna go with a portable AC. It's gonna say power on the device, and then click next. So I don't know if power on means actually turn it on, or what the case may be. Uh, but I do have it powered on. So we're going to hit next. Then it says press and hold. I'm going to screenshot that. It says press and hold the swing button for more than in more than three seconds until the device displays the word AP, then click next. So we're going to press the swing button. On my unit, I don't have a swing button. Hmm. Since I don't have the swing button on mine, it says I can press the LED uh, display button on the remote seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And you can see that on the screen, it says AP. So it is in the mode. So then it says hit next. So we hit next. Then it says go to the WN list. So mine is at the Shiba. So it is the 5324. So it's the one that was trying to connect to it earlier. Okay. So we're just going to hit join. So we can join it to the network. And then I'm going to select my Wi-Fi. And once you have your Wi-Fi in, hit start configuration. And then connect to the phone connected appliances and then it is connecting appliances to the wi-fi network and i'll just screenshot this for you just in case you can't see it and then let's see i'm going to call this garage which they don't have a garage so i guess it'll be the storage room for right now uh and then okay custom name here we go so for custom name i will do garage AC boom just like that custom name and then hit save 
and it says success and we have the air conditioning unit connected to our app so as you can see it's 62 degrees 62 degrees so let's see what functionalities we have here we have fan speed so let's see what we can do about the fan speed oh it can only be changed in auto or dry mode so it's not in auto mode uh, horizontal oh so we can change the height of the blower looks like you can see it slightly move a little bit uh what else led oh you can change cool i don't know what this is what is this is that heat oh dry so i guess maybe dehumidifier fan only which is not what i want auto probably want to be on auto maybe but i think on auto i think you can change oh what is it auto i don't know but it's auto and 62 but i want it on cool and then you can also adjust the temp so like right now everything is on 62 but i'm assuming that if i adjust it to let's say 70 it updates right to 70 if i put it back to 62 back on 62 and I can only assume that if I turn it off it turns off I turn it on it turns on and then it also has uh, schedules so you can set up a schedule for it to turn on uh, you can do 24 hour schedule 12 hour schedule you can do where it repeats every day of the week so like if you have like this in your garage and you know that on monday and wednesday it's going to be your recording dates at six o'clock then you can set it to where let's say at five it can start pre-cooling and then that way by six you will have a more comfortable workspace and then i guess you can uh, name your labels like monday wednesday or whatever the case may be and then it automatically work for you instead of against you and that is about it it's connected it works like you can set up your schedules if you don't set up a schedule and you know you're going to come out to your space or you're going to be home in a certain amount of time, you can open the app and then it will uh, turn on for you. I think this is awesome. Like I said, and for people who forget or people who are lazy or, you know, if you want to say that they are efficient, then this app can be for you. Also, if you live with kids or other people and somebody may leave it on and let's say they leave home and you want to check that it's not on while nobody's there for you could potentially just be wasting energy and cooling a, a space that nobody is in you could always pull the app up and see if it's on and if nobody's there and the space doesn't need to be cooled just like for instance my garage does not need to be cooled 24 hours a day so if i accidentally leave it on then i can remotely turn it off that way it's not cool in the space that doesn't necessarily need to be cool all the time so hopefully if you have one of these units and you want to get it on wi-fi you didn't know how to get it on wi-fi because you have to hit the led button on the remote or hit the whatever button it was that i don't have on the unit to get it to connect to wi-fi here you go hopefully this is short sweet to the point you learned a few things and you can enjoy your new cooled air conditioned space. So like everything, think it, build it, and most importantly, enjoy this cool air because it is hot and humid in North Carolina. Peace.